Hello and welcome to week 46 of Power Thoughts with Dexter Howard. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been walking through the seven virtues of sonship. When we talk about the virtues of sonship, another word comes to mind and that's potential. Every son of God has divine potential on the inside of him. Let's continue to work on these seven virtues. The first three virtues we talked about is number one, uh, Every son of God has the DNA of the father. We, and that simply means that as a son, you have the ability to identify with the father. Number two, every son uh, is a follower of God the father. And number three, we talked about every son of God is a servant of God. Today, we want to hang our hat on virtue number four. Every son of God is loyal to God the father. When we think about that word uh, loyal in a natural or spiritual sense, that word loyal actually corresponds to the word faithful. Every true son of God must be steady, reliable, and thorough in every detail as it relates to accomplishing the will of the Father. Jesus Christ, when he was here in the earth, set a wonderful example of loyalty to the Father's will. In his death on the cross, before he died, he was so meticulous and concerned about every detail, of accomplishing every detail of the Father's will. He said, I thirst. And they gave him a bitter drink. This actually met the requirements of prophecy concerning Jesus Christ's death. Jesus Christ was so loyal to the Father's will that he could have very easily abdicated his responsibilities of dying a sinner's death on the cross, but he chose to stay. The Bible says that at any moment he could have called for legions of angels to come and rescue him, but Jesus Christ, he chose to lay down his life uh, and not take the privilege that he very easily could have enacted as the son of God and calling angels to come and rescue him at any moment, but he chose not to. True sons of God, they linger. They stay around until the job is finished after everyone else has walked away. I want to read to you a scripture out of Luke chapter 12, verse 35 through 37. It says, let your waist be girded and your lamps burning and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. That simply is saying to us there are rich returns for every son of God who is loyal to the Father and to accomplishing his will in the earth. Today, I want you to do a self-examination. I want you to ask yourself, are you preoccupied with your own business, with your own needs, accomplishing your own will? Or are you focused on the business of the Father? focused on accomplishing every detail, staying with the job, keeping your eye on the ball until the job is done. If not, I want you to allow this time of meditation to take you to a place in prayer and ask the Father to help you to be loyal, to give you a loyal heart, a heart of stick to itness is what I call it, that we stick to the job until the job is done. God bless you, and I'll talk with you next time.